Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see how to create a regular expression in the JavaScript. In the previous video, we have learned what is a regular expression and the brief history about this regular expression. We have seen it. Now you'll see that so this series is especially we are targeting about the JavaScript. So we'll try to see the creation of this regular expression exclusively in this JavaScript language. Let's try to see it. Regular expression is actually an object in the JavaScript. So you might be quite surprised about this one. So is, it is real that regular expression is, an, is considered as an object in the JavaScript. So there is no surprise that many things, so many things in the JavaScript are actually an objects. So it, the JavaScript is basically entire thing is depends on the object based tech, object based thing. So as the, as the same regular expression is also an object in javascript in our javascript actually there are two ways to create a regular expression object so normally for creating this regular expression object so there are two ways normally in the javascript when we are trying to create an array so we will be having the two ways something like literal syntax and also using the constructor you will be creating and also for the object also you will be using this uh, literal syntax uh, literal syntax and also the new object like that also you will be creating in the same scenario for creating this regular expression object also you will be having two ways that is nothing but one is the literal syntax and the other one is the using the constructor so using the constructor how we can do is so this is the this is the syntax for that one so let regex1 so that is a variable is equal to new reg expression of hello so the quotes inside this one it is a pattern of regular expression so the quotes whatever the quotes you are having hello so it is a it is a pattern regular expression pattern it is a regular expression pattern now the another one is the literal syntax and that literal syntax will look something like let regex2 is equal to the world forward slash hold and also it ends with the forward slash so the two forward slash will be there and we'll end it with the world So now you have completed this one. So once you have this regular expression object, so now we know that the ways of creating this regular expression object. So once you have this regular expression object, you can use it with one of the methods in the regular expression constructor or the string object wrapper. So we have the methods in the regular expression constructor like test and these all things. So we can use this one or also we also have the string object wrappers also in the string methods also we will be using this regular expression patterns so we can use either of this one so once you have this regular expression object so we can use this object in any of those methods let's try to see those methods what are the methods you'll be having now what we'll try to do is we'll try to write the code so that we'll try to see how we can try run this regular expression in the javascript so here i have uh, so i'm creating a new folder regex okay so this is our folder so let's move on to this folder and i am opening this one in a visual studio code so let us open in this visual studio code yeah so this is an empty project i am creating now here i am trying to create a new file so there is nothing but app.js whatever the name you want you can keep it so now this is the app.js now what i will try to do is so here i am writing a code so we understood that regular expression is nothing but an it is an object so there are two ways to create the regular expression one is the literal syntax and another one is the uh, through the object new regular expression object so first let's say that we i have a text something like hello world Leela. okay so this is the text i am having now let's try to create the two ways of this regular expression object so now i am having i am creating a regular expression object new reg exp we will be having so here I am creating new regular expression reg exp. So this will create a regular expression object. And inside this one we need to give the pattern. So regular expression patterns. So there are so many different types of patterns available in the regular expression. We will try to learn one by one. So this pattern means what it will try to do is it will try to search the text hello or the word hello in this text given. So here we will be able to find this hello right. So it will try to find that 
whether the test is present in this sentence or not so this is one way of creating a regular expression object and the second way of creating the regular expression object is nothing but reg ex2 and here i can use literally forward slash like this and i can use like this okay so these are the two ways which uh, which we can create a regular expression object now we have created the objects let's try to use it so now we can use any one of the method so now here what i am trying to do is so reg ex1 dot test we have a method test method so it will test that it will return true so whenever it finds a pattern so if it finds a pattern in that particular text string so it will give you the it will give you the true if it doesn't find anything means it will return the false so let's try to check that test sorry uh, yeah text I, want, I will be passing the text so let's try to do the console.log here i am trying to do console.log of like this and here i will be doing again console.log of reg ex2 this time i am i am taking the reg ex2 dot i will be using the test of i am trying to apply the text so with which the pattern you are trying with on which sentence you want to apply so on which sentence you want to try this one so we are using like this now this is the console.log now what would be the output for here so here it will try to check and it will try to return true why because the so regular expression one has a pattern of hello and it will try to see here whether the hello is present in this sentence or not yes it is present at the starting so there is no need to present at the starting or in the middle or anything anywhere it anywhere it can be present so if it finds the occurrence of this one means so it will immediately give you the uh, what i can say it will immediately return you the true and here you are having a pattern forward slash and forward slash in between this one this is the regular expression pattern so now it will try to search for search for the string so whether the string or word is there in this text or not so world is present in this text and also this one also will return the true let's try to see the output so whether we can able to get it or not so now what i will be trying to do is instead of trying to run it in the browser so you can run it in the browser also not a problem so i will be running in the node now let's open this one so this is our code right so let's try so here i'll be writing node app.js let's try to see the output here if you try to see the output we will be able to see that true true so the both the options are returning true here let's try to see the output again here so regular expression 1 is returning true and also this regular expression 2 is also returning true now what i will try to do is i will try to make this one as w and make this one as hello okay so whether this one is case sense 2 or not so now if you try to see the output immediately what it is happening is if i try to run it so immediately we will get an answer of false okay so we are getting the answer of false false why we are getting false is so here we are getting so the world so the world here it is w is in the small letter and this one is in the pattern is in the capital letter so this is the case sensitive thing so it will be the capital w and small w it will not it will not treat it as the same and here in the same scenario that hello capital h and small h will be not treated as the same so this is how we will be checking this we are doing this uh, creating the regular expression in the javascript and testing that one so to test the patterns in a particular string particular string whether the occurrence has been occurred or not so now you will need to understand that the regular expressions in a javascript is nothing but an object okay we can create the regular expression object in a two ways that is nothing but lateral syntax and also the constructor function so we can use this constructor method of creation or anything you can send it to one of the methods present in the regular expression or the string object wrapper methods you can also use it so this is all about this how to create a regular expression in the javascript hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you